These are the methods of detecting venous air embolisms during craniotomies. I've separated these into high, medium, and low sensitivity methods. The high sensitivity ones are precordial Doppler, which is the gold standard in pediatric craniotomies. This is the earliest and most sensitive test for venous air embolism in peds. Uh, it's non-invasive and it's easier to perform than a uh, echo. And the probe is placed over or to the right of the sternum at the fourth intercostal, uh, intercostal space, which is the nipple line. In prone positioning, you can even put this between scapula on the back, and it can detect as little as 0.05 cc's per kilogram of air in the veins. Another high sensitivity method is echo and Doppler. So it could be TEE or TTE. These uh, detect venous air embolism before your physiologic changes occur. So you'll see before you uh, have changes in your, in your monitors. And um, transesophageal echo specifically can detect as little as 0.02 cc's per kilogram of air. The next two methods are moderate sensitivity. You have your end tidal capnography or your end tidal CO2. This has moderate sensitivity and requires at least 0.5 cc's per kilogram of air, so less sensitive than these. Um, a sudden drop in your end tidal CO2 suggests a venous air embolism. It's useful for monitoring the severity or duration of air emboli, and the drop occurs because your air blocks your pulmonary blood flow, which increases your dead space ventilation. Um, physiologic changes typically precede this. There's also end tidal nitrogen, which isn't really used. It's highly specific, but only moderately sensitive, and it increases during venous air embolism because the air that gets into the veins during craniotomy is usually atmospheric air, which has higher nitrogen than what you're giving the patient, uh, which is usually uh, less nitrogen. The low sensitivity methods are your central venous pressure, which uh, increases during a venous air embolism. This uh, is usually late, and it usually uh, doesn't really help. There's also peripheral monitoring that might show some signs like your SpO2, your blood pressure, or your EKG, but also very low sensitivity and specificity for venous air embolism.